This season of Cooking Hawaiian Style is presented by Ka'anapali Beach Resort, where the world comes to play. Aloha, you got Lanai with Cooking Hawaiian Style Season 9, presented by Ka'anapali Beach Resort. Today in the kitchen, one of my new favorite chefs. He's Roy's Ka'anapali's number one, Executive Chef, Chef Jesse. Let's get cooking. When you live in on the island, such a diverse Hawaii. When you taste it, all the flavors from the mountain to the sea, we're cooking Hawaiian style. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome from Roy's Ka'anapali, Jesse. Thanks for joining us, bro. Thank you. Thanks for having me. Right on, yeah. man. How long have you been with Roy's? I've been at Roy's for four years now, going yeah. on five. You're from Kauai, yeah? I'm from Kauai. Yeah. Good to see the local boys doing good. Oh, yeah. What are you going to be making today? Uh, today, I'm going to be making our Kauai shrimp. Uh-huh. Yeah. You, know, you got this from Kauai? From Kauai. <laughs> some um, good-looking good shrimp you got yeah. here. Big jumbo Kauai shrimp yeah. uh, from Kekaha, actually. Really? Over on the west side of uh, Kauai. Where are you from in on Kauai? In Koloa. Yeah. Kauai food. Yeah, and when, how did you get to Maui? Um, I got a job offer over at Roy's and yeah. then uh, to join his team, and um, they moved me over here, and that yeah. was it. Well, you know, we've been trying to get Roy on the show for a long time, but I'm glad he sent you, because this bugger can cook, I tell <laughs> you. So uh, what do we need to get started? Uh, to get started, we need a... Uh, shrimp uh, okay. we'll get uh, some butter we'll throw it in a pan and right. one of the things here is like when you're cooking at home you got to make your pan really hot because yes. otherwise it's not going to caramelize right so okay right here we just get a uh, some butter right on so you you like working on maui i love working on maui some great people out here yeah. it's, just, it's just amazing bigger i did yeah Kauai, too small yeah <laughs> you want us to hide anybody on Kauai? ah uh, my mom <laughs> she watching hi mom all right so we just put a cube of butter in there cube of butter right in there um then we'll marinate uh okay some Kauai shrimp right there so you pe did you peel and devein this? Peel, devein this. Okay. Um, already. We put all of them. In put there. all of them. Yeah, because uh, yeah, we go I'm gonna eat like six okay, of them. Okay, perfect. I don't know how we'll many. Do that. You, I don't know how many you we'll gonna do eat. We do the bowl. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. I'll take all right, this thank you. Way. And all then, right. uh, so we got this sweet Thai chili uh, garlic shrimp. So we, I did um, lemongrass, ginger, uh, fish sauce. Fish okay. sauce. Okay. Got fish sauce, but yes. Get them underneath, you know. Yeah, under the counter. Under the counter, yeah, under the sink. Yeah, don't spill that thing. Don't spill that, it's gold. So you just made, is this sauce your own? Uh, yes, I kind of made it my own. Yeah. yeah, using, you know, just sweet Thai chili. And you can get sweet Thai chili anywhere in yeah. the stores. All right. Um, is this on the menu at Roy's? Uh, yes, it is. It, uh, we actually use this uh, for our local delicious dish. And uh -huh. we sold a ton of this. See how that thing's smoking? Yeah, that's it's what you ready. want it to do. Yeah. Okay. It's ready. So you want your pan to start smoking yeah, with smoke all that butter in there. And you don't want to cook this too long, right? No, nah, no, nah, you don't want to cook it too long. Otherwise, it gets rubbery, yeah? Shrimp. Yeah. I'm not going to put all this in there because it's going to... Oh, whatever you want. Uh, yeah. For later, you make me one bento yeah. later. Uh, yeah, bento to go. <laughs> I'll put this on the side. All right. That and smells then, good, yeah. man. So, so do you come up with a lot of your own recipes? I know Roy has his, you know, he his has menu. It. Yeah, he has his. And, 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 you know, like, for us as chefs, he, lets, he gives us the freedom to yeah. kind of just be our own and and that's one thing great about Roy he just he just gives you the opportunity to just kind of be yourself and cook and you cannot go wrong yeah no can go wrong. I mean it's just amazing what he has done how many restaurants now he's got a ton I mean like he's starting a whole bunch of restaurants here he's got restaurants on the ship as well yeah that's yeah. right and he's uh, opening up house. yeah eating house he's opening up a going over in Kailua so if, uh, it's probably gonna open up at the end of this year uh -huh. So see how like, it's nice and caramelized right yes. there? Um, and then at the end, just kind of finish it up with a little bit more butter. No, please, put yeah. plenty. Butter is good. <laughs> Fat is flavor. What do you like to eat when you're not cooking? Um, poke. That's all I eat yeah, is poke. poke. Yeah. Yep. Poke has become a phenomenon, yeah. hasn't it now? Yeah, it's been really great. Uh, maybe so, next time we got to have you do a poke Oh, do a poke demonstration? Yeah. yeah. You know, we got, a, we got a lot of people looking for different poke. Yeah. Uh, you know what, the simple, the better, right? Yeah. All right, and so, so what, now we need a plate? This, hey, we need a plate. Okay. I'll We're going to try to finish this right up. All right. So real, real quick, huh? Real 30 quick. 30 seconds. Right there. Kind of plate them up real nice. That you looks know, beautiful. Whatever way you like do. Good job. Just make them fancy. 
you know, just, cooking no more rules. Just me and yeah, you. Yeah, me and you right there. Yeah. Perfect. Let's finish this up. We got about 30 seconds. Oh. That looks good. Smells good. I wish you guys could smell this. We're going to put the, all the ingredients right on the exact measurements on our website, cookinghawaiianstyle.com. So we got Go um, fresh um, carrots okay. uh, from Kula. Nice. So what I did is I pickled this in a rice wine vinegar, okay. water, sugar, kombu, right. you know. And that's the dish. You yeah. got some. You got two different types of carrot. Or yeah. What, what do you got here? Three different. Yeah, types. three different. Uh, so we call it a nui nui carrots. Okay. Yeah. Beautiful looking carrots. Rainbow. Huh? Yeah. Yeah. Some color to the plate. Yeah. And, and then, then what, uh, what's your sauce going to be? Right here. I love that. So the sauce is already in there, which is that, that sweet Thai chili sauce. Okay. And then you kind of just finish it off with all this. So would you dump the rest of the stuff in the pan on top of oh, that? Oh yeah, I would. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Um, we'll do some, uh, you know, uh, fried garlic right over. Okay. There fried you go. Garlic. What do you call this again? Uh, seared koi shu. There you go. When we come back, what are you making? The tenderloin. Tenderloin. Don't go anywhere. More with cooking Hawaiian style. Chef Jesse. That looks good, bro. Wake up in the morning and I'm feeling fine. On the windward side of life. Kind of like a guiding light that shines and all that's right. Yeah. Rainbows are a common thing. Kaanapali Golf Courses, where the world comes to play. At Maui Electric, we keep the lights on, at home, at school, and at work. Together, we're exceeding Hawaii's renewable energy goals. You've made Hawaii the leader in residential solar, and we're introducing Community Solar. You can charge electric vehicles at home and at charging stations throughout Maui. We're committed to a 100% clean energy future and we'll get there working together. Maui Electric, empowering our communities, empowering you. Ooh, what they got my brain. Mm, she better not eat it all. Noted Rice and Aloha Show You, the winning local favorite. This episode of Cooking Hawaiian Style is brought to you by Hyatt Regency Maui Resort and Spa. Welcome back to Cooking Hawaiian Style, presented by Kaanapali Beach Resort. We got Chef Jesse here from Roy's. We uh, put the kawaii prawns on the plate. You got some carrots we talked about. Tell us real quick about the fern. So, Pohole ferns from here in Maui, uh -huh. uh, grown in Hana. And all you do is just blanch it in some salt water and shock it in cold water right after that. So you, so you have so you have a nice green pohole. Taking out that slime. Yeah, there, right? And then what else slime. you got here? And then we added uh, fennel. Okay. And you just kind of, what did you do? Just uh, slice it up? Yeah, I just slice it up on a mandolin real right. thin. Uh, dress it with a little bit of olive oil. Olive oil. Okay. I'll get this out of your all way. Right. And then uh, we'll just mix it up there? Yeah, mix it up there. Put in a little bit of white salt. Okay. And then just put it on the top. Put it there. right on there the top. There you go. Again, we'll put the whole recipe on our website, cookinghawaiianstyle.com. That looks good, nice and colorful. Thank you. All right, what are we gonna make next, chef? We making the beef tenderloin from koi. It's a makawele beef. All right. And what we do is, you wanna whenever you uh, cooking beef, you wanna put a lot of salt on there because when you're cooking it, it just falls yeah. off. And yeah. so you want you wanna dress your meat really well. Okay. So you know you some coarse salt. So now this meat is uh, from here and then they send it off uh, to get to get even fatter, right? Yeah, to fatter. Get marbleized. Yeah. And, and then they send it back to Hawaii. Back to Hawaii. They, put, they send them on vacation, basically, so that the cow can have a good life, get a little fatter. You know when you go on vacation, right? Because <laughs> it seems like even the Big Island beef, they send some of that away as well, you know? And I guess that's what they're doing, right? Yeah, so, so we're gonna sear So we're gonna sear this off? Sear this off uh, right. with some butter. Whose recipe is this? This is actually Roy's recipe. Okay. How, how often do you get to see Roy? Uh, once in a while. <laughs> once in a while. Once in a while. I mean, he's got he's so a, many restaurants yeah, now. He's a busy man. Yeah, so. it's like babysitting, huh? Yeah. You got to go to each kid and give him some time. Right. Right. Let us grow and flourish. Yeah, there you go. Um, <laughs> so what I did, I was like, uh, put some butter in here and let okay. it get nice and hot. And uh, 
like I said, like keep your pan hot. Always you want to get it as hot as you can. Yeah. All Always right. So what? Some of the other ingredients we need for this. So we're doing a uh, Roy's natural demi on there. So we make our own demi in house, and it takes a while. It takes about three w days. What is a demi? Explain a, a, a demi. A demi is uh, getting veal bones, beef bones, mm -hmm. uh, mirepoix, putting all that together, water, and just let it cook, yeah. and then extract all the uh, all that fat and all the good stuff in yes, the bones like the right. marrow and all that stuff so then and then you have this yes awesome so all right yeah, can we, so. let's get this going all right and uh throw some uh thyme here okay just for some flavor some flavor all right that looks good okay let me stir it off where did you go to school i went to school over in Kauai, and then i did some schooling over in uh uh, Greystone. Nice. Over in uh, what, what high school did you go to in? Uh, I went to Kauai High School. Kauai High School, home of Glenn Madaros, ladies yep. and gentlemen. R right? Yeah. You know Glenn? I know Glenn. He's, he's such a good guy. He's uh, he's actually a few years older than I am. So. Glenn Madaros, famous singer from Hawaii. We is one of our pride and joys. He was one of the only guys to sing with Bobby Brown. Right. <laughs> she ain't worth it. Remember that song? <laughs> I'm showing my age now. So, all right. So what? You know? Are you gonna cook this all the way through? Cause um, no. This is good meat. This is good meat. So. You want to have it medium rare. Yes, yes. Rare. Rare's, I eat it. Yeah, I, eat I like mine rare, rare too. Yeah. All right. So, and so if you're one gonna, for you and one for me. Right. Perfect. And then if you're going to cook it well done, you might as well just get a no, sirloin. No, you might as well not eat. Right. Just don't show up to the restaurant. <laughs> <laughs> you guys, uh, you, you have some special guests that always come come through your restaurant. One of my favorite guys from ESPN is always there, huh? What's his name? Berman. Yes, Chris Berman. Chris Berman. Yeah, so I think he lives near. He's always at Roy's, huh? Always oh, at Roy's golfing. Yeah. Um, who else we got? We got a few more other people I can't even remember. Yeah. So They're, do you do one at a time? No. Can you do both? At, we'll do both. Cause yeah. Me and you, right? Yeah, yeah. Perfect. Let's do both. We can get this out of your way here. Okay. What do you like to eat when you're not cooking? What's your comfort food? My comfort food is loco moco. You really? Is that yeah. it? That's what I eat. Loco moco. You make your own hamburger? Nah, I buy them from the store. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, you don't want to be cooking uh, more. Like, yeah. <laughs> You're, so, yeah. So we got this going. Um, okay, we're going to see it all the way around. Yeah, and when we come around. back, we're going to plate this and show you what he does rest. Because we got some vegetables roasting in the oven as well, right? Correct. Okay. Roasting some vegetables. Don't go anywhere. Chef Jesse here from Roy's Ka'anapali. It's cooking Hawaiian style. To cook oily foods? Of course you do. After frying your bacon, fried chicken, and lumpia, how do you dispose of your oil? Dump it down the drain? Fill up a mayonnaise jar? No more dumping down drains to clog plumbing and cause environmental hazards. Life just got easier with FogSafe. The FogSafe is environmentally friendly and no more dealing with glass jars or milk cartons. Simply put your old oil in a FogSafe container and watch the absorbent pads soak it up. When you're done, just throw it in the trash. For more information, go to fog-safe.com. Style. Cooking Hawaiian Style, available on Facebook, Instagram, and at cookinghawaiianstyle.com. With thousands of recipes with all your favorites from mom's gravy to tutu's beef stew, check out our website. Need a quick idea for your next potluck or family luau? We have shared recipes from famous chefs, celebrities, to local people. Visit cookinghawaiianstyle.com and let's get cooking. This episode of Cooking Hawaiian Style is brought to you by the Maui Electric Company. Welcome back to Cooking Hawaiian Style, brought to you by Ka'anapali Beach Resort. We got Chef Jesse here from Roy's. We're uh, searing some beef here, and then now we got some vegetables, vegetables. that you just roasted, right? Yes, uh, we're just roasting the vegetables. We're gonna heat it up in a pan, so okay. if you like, help me out. All right. We'll put some olive oil right in there. Get that going and roast those. So we're just heating brothers. them up, right? Yeah, you, how up. long did you roast that? I roasted it for about 20 minutes. Okay. Um, and we also got some of these uh, French radishes. So we in got there. some what? Some finger loin, uh, potatoes. Potatoes. Some carrots. Carrots. Uh, these carrots are also from uh, Maui. Okay. All, all local stuff here. Um, what so do you season it with? Salt, pepper. We we'll do some herbs in there as well. Okay. Just and simple. It, simple stuff. And it will heat up some of the. All right, demi here, the Roy's right. natural demi. Now the demi, what if you don't make your own demi? If you don't make your own demi, you can go to the store and then buy some demi. Okay. And then what you do is like, you want to make it fancy, put some onions in there yeah. and butter. Butter yes. is always good. Butter is always good. Yeah. It makes it more creamy, huh? 
Yeah, it gives it more flavor. Yeah. So now, how, how do you know your meat is done? Your meat is done. I mean, I've been cooking for a long time, so I kind of just, you know, I, I know if, what it looks like. But if you're not, if you're first time making this, because a lot of people are going to go try this. They're going to try this and then, you know, well done is like this. You go on your finger. If it's, if it's hard. If, if it's hard, like this. Well done. If, finger, this is medium rare. And as you go further to your, uh, your pink, it's uh, well done. So well done is like, you like right that here. trick? There you go. You learned that from Chef Jesse. All right. That looks good to me right oh, there. Yeah, you got to go a little bit go. more. Are you ready? Yeah. You know, the, the, the hardest part, I think, when you do this dish is cutting it. Right. Because it's so tender. It is so right? tender. Is that all we need? That's all we need. And then okay. what we do is just take it off the flame here. All right. And you got to usually, I know the magic of television, we're going to have to see, cut this, but you're going to let it sit let it usually sit. for how long? Yes. At least five minutes. Okay. Five minutes. Now, if it doesn't sit for five minutes, what happens? It'll just bleed out and, and it just, you know. It's then, gonna make a mess. Yeah, it's gonna make a big mess. All right, so how, how long more do we got on that? On because, these veggies right here? Yeah. Uh, I think we're done right here. Okay, you wanna plate that right here? Yeah. Now, you said you went to school in Napa. Napa, yeah, over yeah, there. Yeah, you went to culinary school. Culinary over there. All right. Um, and how was that going to Napa? Napa was great. Did you study at all? No, I didn't. <laughs> are, are you a wine guy? I just drank wine. Yeah. Now, if, no, if uh, somebody who's never been to Roy's, what would you tell them Roy's is all about? Roy's is all about great flavor. Yeah. And just uh, the cuisine that he's taught us, just amazing. It's, yeah. just, it's a great place to work. A lot of local, a lot, lot of local locals. product, yeah. Yep. Uh, that Pacific Fusion, you know, Roy was one of the uh, pioneers of introducing that, this, this type of cuisine to us. Yeah. All right, we're just gonna cut one of these. Because again, you wanna let it sit for five minutes, but oh, that it looks yeah. amazing. Good job, Chef. Whew, that looks hot. awesome. That looks awesome. So make sure you know you don't overcook your meat because no. it's not going to be, you know, you're not going to get that flavor. I know that a lot of people like well done. And then if you let it sit longer, it's going to be more firm, right? Firm. It won't be as this, uh, this loose. And then how are we going to, we're going to add to that? We're going to add uh, the, the Roy's demi, demi right, right here. So here we go. This this is amazing. It. That's good. Is this on the menu? This is on the menu, actually. Good job. All right. That's it. That's it. And then what right. we do is I finish it off with a... Okay. When we come back, what are you making? Go ahead. You can finish uh, it off. Yeah, finish off. We are going to make the compachi crudo. All right. So don't go anywhere. Chef Jesse is here from Roy's. It's cooking Hawaiian style. That looks amazing, brother. I wish you guys could smell it. Wake up in the morning and I'm feeling fine. On the windward side of life Kinda like a guiding light that shines and all that's right Yeah Rainbows are a common thing We'll kick, keep playing, laugh and sing There's no place I'd rather be This highland lies for me All my brothers and sisters Ka'ana Poly Golf Courses Where the world comes to play at Maui Electric, we keep the lights on, at home, at school, and at work. Together, we're exceeding Hawaii's renewable energy goals. You've made Hawaii the leader in residential solar, and we're introducing Community Solar. You can charge electric vehicles at home and at charging stations throughout Maui. We're committed to a 100% clean energy future, and we'll get there working together. Maui Electric, empowering our communities, empowering you. Inspiration is here at Ferguson Bath, Kitchen, and Lighting Gallery. Our experts can help you navigate a range of options so you make the best selections for your home project. Let us shed light on the latest product trends. From lighting, to plumbing, to appliances, all in one place. Schedule an appointment today for personalized, one-on-one -on -one attention dedicated to turning your plans into reality. This episode of Cooking Hawaiian Style is brought to you by Moku Lele Airlines and Aloha Shoyu. Welcome back to Cooking Hawaiian Style presented by Ka'anapali Beach Resort. We're here at the Hyatt. Look how beautiful this is, huh? We got Chef Jesse from Roy's Ka'anapali and we're gonna break down a kampachi here today. This is what it looks like. Yeah, when you start off with another uh, local ingredient that we're using, Roy loves to use local ingredients. Yeah. Uh, we support local, that's awesome. This is a beautiful fish, yeah. man, I tell you. 
you never had a kompachi, you gotta try sashimi. And that's what you're gonna make right now. Yes. What do you call this dish? This is the kompachi crudo. Okay. It's important that you put on your gloves. Yes, got a glove up. <laughs> we always wash our hands, by the way. That's our biggest email, you know. You guys don't wash your hands. Of course we do. During the commercials, we wash our hands. Now, you're going to just... Uh, I'm going to take, take off, off the skin of okay. the kompachi. Pretty easy. You just need a sharp knife. Yeah. That's Japanese the hard part. Blade. Jab here, right here. Oh, perfect. There you oh, go. Yes. Some of the ingredients you're going to use for this. What are you going to put uh, in there? So we got some uh, finger limes. Go ahead, you can okay. keep cutting. Finger limes so are, finger are limes. kind of cool. You want to cut that in half? Yeah, I'll cut so that I can in just half. show people what that looks yeah. like. So finger limes is a citrus fruit. Uh -huh. um, it's really uh, unique. And uh, I need a. Yeah, right there. You can grab a knife right there. Perfect. Yeah. Hey. It's a citrus fruit that looks like yes. a finger lime potato, but the it inside does. of it. The inside. So when you cut it, it looks like actually caviar. This is amazing. Yes. Man. So when we get that a shot of that, night, put it in. Look at that. Yeah. You see that? Look at that. There it looks go. like caviar yeah. coming out of there, but it tastes like citrus. Yes. Good stuff. Yeah. yeah I good like stuff. it. Yeah. I like that. How's that popping in my Yeah. It's like uh, um, you know, pop rocks from the earth, right? <laughs> <laughs> All right. So you're just gonna break this down. This is served on the menu, right? Yeah, some, uh, once in a while we'll, we'll have it on there. When the you specials. get when you get the kompachi. When we get the kompachi. All right, and some other stuff that you have. You have shiso. We got shiso leaves there. Okay. Um, Ogo. Ogo, yes, uh, from uh, the Big Island. Okay. As well. And what is this? A lot of people don't know what this that is. That is bubu arare. Bubu arare. Yeah. So it's like it rice crackers. Like, yeah, rice crackers. Yeah. Exactly. Very good. Yep. All right, let's go in and make a plate. All right, we'll make a plate for you. All right. You need to cut anything else? Oh yeah, let me cut the shiso. Okay. Cut this. some cut some shiso. Yes. I Thank love you. shiso. You want to cut Mint some? leaf. Go ahead. Yeah. But my uh, take your job. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. Yeah. You like working with fish? <laughs> yes, I love working with fish. Yeah. You dive, you fish, you hunt? I, I used to dive. I used to hunt, but now I am working. Yeah. All right, let's finish. So, this. what we do is like finish them off, for, you know, place Fold it, it in there. half like Fold that. Fold it in half like that. Okay. And this then, looks good. So for that, we'll get a little more. Put it right here for you. Let me try this and make sure that everything's okay. Yeah. Good stuff, huh? Oh, oh so yeah. there we go. We got some ogo. Okay. Go ahead. Ogo. Go on there. If you uh, can't find kampachi in your fish market, what do you recommend? Uh, you could use hamachi. Hamachi. Another uh, good fish. Uh -huh. you, could, uh, easy, uh, you can actually use all kinds of fish. Okay. Uh, but... Um, so some uh, red onion. Red onions, pickled as well. Okay. Okay. Um, fish off like this. A uh, little bit of Hawaiian salt right over the top. Some alaya. Some alaya salt. Some alaya Hawaiian salt, uh, which is a big one. Soy right here. Did okay, a soy so now what is that? So kalamasi soy dashi. It's like uh, we just did a dashi soy kalamasi. Okay. We did a, a little vinaigrette, so just kind of pour it right over the fish. All right. We got the whole recipe on our website, cookinghawaiianstyle.com. Yes. Uh, finish it off with some bubu arare. There you go. So bubu are is a rice cracker, rice cracker Japanese yes. rice cracker. So it's real tasty. Some microgreens. Microgreens. Okay. Cocoa as well here. All right, and then we're gonna put some shiso on top of there, yes. and then don't forget the finger lime. Finger lime. Finger lime. Finger limes is what they're called. Yeah. All right. When we come back, we're gonna taste all these great foods from Chef Jesse Roy's Kaanapali. Don't go anywhere. It's cooking Hawaiian style. That looks good, brother. Auto Exchange, with two locations, Kapiolani in town and in Aiea on Kamehameha Highway, giving you quality, pre-owned luxury rides. They make it easy with financing and zero down. BMW, Mercedes, Audi, Lexus, Porsche, Lambos, and more. Auto Exchange, giving you the ride you thought you could never afford. Come on down to Auto Exchange.
This episode of Cooking Hawaiian Style is brought to you by Star Advertiser and Aloha Air Cargo. Welcome back to Cooking Hawaiian Style presented by Ka'anapali Beach Resort where they got two incredible golf courses uh, designed by Trent Jones. Do you play golf? Yeah, just a little bit. All right, we got to go play one day. Tell yeah. everybody what you made. So today I made a, a kona kampache kudo uh -huh. with us, uh, kalamansi soy, finger lime vinaigrette, also the kawaii shrimp, uh, garlic shrimp, and also the makawele beef. Oh my goodness. With the marungai chimichurri. How that is amazing. Chimichurri? Marungai is a Filipino plant, very small. It's a super, super, super plant. Yeah. Pretty, I, I mean, I, I never heard of anybody using the marungai with the chimichurri. How do you say it? Chimichurri. Chimichurri sauce. I got steak him up. That is awesome. Uh, let me try the, the sashimi here. Now you put the, uh, the finger lime. Finger lime. Mm. You got all kinds of things going on oh, there. Oh, yeah. Salt, sweet. Um, you can taste the fish, of course, and I love the shiso on top of that. You got? Yeah, you want any social media? I'm um, on Instagram, Facebook. Mm -hmm. That's about it. Yeah. What's I your name on? Mellow. What's your name on Instagram? Instagram is Kolo22. Okay. And then you can follow at Roy's too. Yes. Go to our website for all these incredible dishes. Thank you, bro, Thank for you. joining us. Thanks for Representing the island of Kauai, ladies and gentlemen, Chef Jesse from Roy's Kaanapali. Make sure you go and visit him. Thank you for watching. Until next time, Ahui Ho. Aloha. Good job, bro. Thanks. Hotel accommodations provided by Hyatt Regency Maui Resort and Spa. Air cargo provided by Aloha Air Cargo. Air travel provided by Mokulele Airlines. Lanai's wardrobe provided by Ari South.